Hi guys, uh, this is Lei from Goldfish Corner. Welcome back. And today we're going to talk about an engineering topic about the body shape and swimming stability of your goldfish. So many times I got a question asked by my friends. He said, why does my goldfish swimming tilt forward or swimming head down? which is unstable motion, just like this goldfish. It's a beautiful oranda, but apparently it's suffering that when he swim, his head down and tilt forward and, and then flip upside down. So many reasons may trigger this sort of a head down swimming motion, um, such as the swimming bladder issue. This is a notorious issue. Uh, your goldfish has pretty big swimming bladder and floating on top, he just is suffering just like this poor goldfish. Uh, the second reason, a constipation. Uh, that's one of the reasons actually trigger your swimming bladder disease. The third reason could be just the water quality. Uh, you see uh, like this one, your ammonia, nitride or nitrate, the parameter is just not right. And so today let's focus on a small piece or one of the factors is the body shape. Based on my recent research, for a certain shape of body, what tends to develop a such swimming head down motion eventually. So let's do some engineer analysis. So I want to uh, analyze with geometry of the body shape. So let's talk about the procedure that I that I developed. Uh, so first one, you trying to get a beautiful, a clear picture of the side view. And the step two, draw a horizontal X. The horizontal X is defined by the eye point and also the, the most extruding point of the mouse. And then those two points define a horizontal line. I call this horizontal X. And then you wanna uh, do a two parallel line. And then you basically with that intersection point, you draw as bigger as possible a grand circle to cover the most area of your body shape on the side of you. And, and then make sure you mark the center of the ground circle. And the third one, a basic marking. So marking is pretty straightforward. So you're connecting the peak uh, point on the back and also bottom point on the value. So draw a line and also uh, connect the, the high point and low point of the caudal peduncle point. That's basically the, the tailbone point. And that's pretty much you need to know to, to, to the body shape uh, diagram. The criteria is uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, the first thing is the Horizon horizontal X need to be perpendicular. Your upper back point and the, and the bottom belly point that's need to be perpendicular. That's the criteria one. Uh, second criteria is the top bottom line gonna bypass the center of your grand circle. The third criteria is the horizontal X. This is the horizontal X gonna cross the caudal peduncle lines. So all the three together are like a seesaw effect. So you want the weight and the shape kind of a balanced around your, the center of your grand circle point, all called a mass center or gravity center of the fish. As a matter of fact, most of the time, the swim bladder is actually uh, distributed somewhere around this grand circle line. So think about it, if your tail tilt up or if the tail tilt down, that's gonna shifting the seesaw and gonna make your fish swim on stability. Again, this is only from the physical perspective of your body weight distribution. So any deviation of those three uh, criteria gonna trigger unbalanced or unstable uh, swimming behavior. Why do we need this uh, body shape analysis? Why is this is useful? You know, one thing is it's gonna be quick qualitative analysis. When you buy a fish, you can just quickly check of that by your by your eyes to see the body weight distribution, and uh, is is actually fit most the rounded shape. The basic benefit is hopefully it help you buy the right fish. When you go to the online store or you go to the local pet store, you want to buy the fish has less tendency of developing those swim bladder issue in the future. Uh, let's give you a few examples. So this first one I'm going to talk about is an unstable case or maybe a critical stability case. This Yuking is the tricolor. It has the uh, orange, white, and the black. And there are some uh, curing patterns on the scale. But Let's do our procedure. So I don't have exactly side view, but this is probably good enough. So I draw my horizontal axis and then I push it up and down to find my peak and bottom point of the fish body. And then I can draw a grand circle and uh, I can connect it uh, 
top and bottom become my top bottom x and also i can draw the uh, collar peduncle point and that become my tail line uh, so the first one we do see the perpendicular or 90 degree between my horizontal line versus my vertical line and that's good that's the check and the second one is the center point of the grand circle it just laid on the top or bottom the vertical axis that's good but the tricky thing is the third point is the horizontal axis does not cross the caudal peduncle line if you look at it here the tail is pretty high position so the all the two point of the caudal peduncle is actually above the horizontal line so guess what if you think about this is this is a seesaw so the head is the is the distributed but one side of the seesaw one end to the up so my prediction is when this uh, short tail you can swim it's gonna have a slightly uh, head down motion but it's not severe enough to make it a flip. So let's see what's really happened when the fish swim in a movie. So that's what I'm talking about. You see when the fish, the fish actually struggles, it always has a tilt down and the tail just tilted up. So when the swim is actually swim with head down. Um, this is not as bad, it's just because this is a little bit off, but the more the off, you're gonna have a, a, a worse situation. And now I give you a good example of uh, a stable body shape. So this fish uh, got a credit from Gage Hargrove. Uh, the same thing, you can draw the horizontal line. And then uh, with those two points, you draw a grand circle, connect the top point and bottom valley point become the yellow line, also called a peduncle point. The first thing I see the 90 degree between the horizontal X and the vertical X. The second one, uh, the center of the grand circle just lays on the vertical x that's a check the third one the color peduncle is not vertical but that's fine i mean the horizontal x is still across the color peduncle line so let's see how to swim now you can see it's move around it's actually swim pretty pretty stable um, they're not flipping motion so that's when you have a distributed body you're going to have a stable motion and this fish probably has a less tendency to develop a swim bladder issue so now let's move on another case this is unstable yukin thank you so much joanna and appreciate you sharing this clip with me and also you can check on her channel captain chocolate cake just uh, on the youtube uh, she forward this shape i said hey i want to go this was to test my theory whether it's whether it's right or not so we're going to do the same thing horizontal x and you and then parallel line you got a top of the back point and the bottom of the belly point you get a grand circle with those two points and then you draw the top and the bottom point you got a vertical axis and also call the bottom aha that's something alert so first one I see vertical angle between the horizontal x and the vertical x the second point is the center of the circle it just uh, lays on the vertical x and the third one is is alert so you see the caudal peduncle is actually high it's actually much higher than your horizontal axis there's actually has a gap so let's see what happened when this fish swim so that's what happened because it always tends to have a tail down motion and the, the tail is is too high and when he's trying to grab a, a food on the bottom they're gonna flip because the tail is too high so that's another unstable uh, case uh, now let's check a different case outside the yukin goldfish let's check the chinese rancho so this is a beautiful side of view of chinese rancho has a tricolor pattern we do the same drill we got a horizontal axis crossing the eye and tip of the uh, mouth and then the, the peak point on back and bottom point on belly draw a grand circle i got a center point here and then I, I basically do my marking so first thing i see beautiful 90 degree between horizontal and vertical axis and the bingo the grand circle point just uh, match the vertical axis and the third point you see the horizontal axis actually cross um, the caudal peduncle lines as a very stable and one thing i want to mention also think about the seesaw uh, one of the criteria in chinese community of goldfish keeping they try to keep this a gap so they don't want the tip of the tail higher than the top of the back point so this one need to be high otherwise if this point is higher the fish also tends to flip so let's see how this fish swim 
Ah, uh, you see this fish move around, a uh, very stable, very balanced. You don't see the tilt down or tilt up of the head motion. Head always on the same line with the tail. All right, so this one we call this ultra stable fish is, uh, you know, those kind of natural body shape. This is the Shubankin goldfish natural body. We have this peak point, bottom point, horizontal axis. We draw the circle. The circle is pretty small and we do the same thing. So we check over here. This is 90 degree between horizontal and vertical axis. And the center of the circle, it just lays on the vertical axis to check. And then the crossing point, cross the caudal peduncle, that's a great. And the other thing I want to mention, when we have natural body, the natural body has more ellipse side. So you get more stability on the top and the bottom point even though it's a slight mismatch. So this one, when you look at a swim, it swim, uh, you know, very smooth, very, very natural shape. They have less tendency of uh, head down motion or swim forward motion. So that's a very, uh, normally the, all those common, or common goldfish with natural body, they tend to become more stable. It's because those three criteria they're very easy to satisfy. I call this body shape, it's called an ultra stable body shape. All right, that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Again, come to my channel. There is a more uh, for you. I hope you like today's video. And also I recommend it if you wanna dig into more about swim bladder issue, also check this video on the screen. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.